So how did Rick Perry do in tonight's presidential debate? Well, this was not Rick Perry's night. He stumbled noticeably. I'm going to give him, you know, a C plus at best. Some commentators are going to give him even worse scores. The worst moment is when he had this pre-planned, pre-packaged slam on Mitt Romney. What he was trying to say is, hey, Mitt, you flip-flopped on your position on gun control. You flip-flopped on your position on state-run health care. You flip-flopped on abortion. But instead, he got so tangled up. I mean, it gave me a headache listening to him. It was as bad as George W. Bush at his very worst. Now, there were for some other bad moments, too. His question, his answer on Pakistan muddled. His answer to how he'd get the economy going, a little muddled. However, I don't think the evening was a complete disaster for him. He came across very compassionate talking about immigration. He came across compassionate when talking about the uh, HPV vaccination and how he talked to a 31-year-old woman with cancer of the universe, uh, uni uh, uterus, and that's what moved him. So he had some good moments. He had a little bit of humor. He did get a lot of applause. And there is something, people get angry at me when I talk about this, but there is a certain superficial level of appeal Rick Perry has. You look at that debate without the sound on, and Rick Perry still wins a lot of votes. He is the most Reagan-esque with everything from his mannerisms, his style, yes, his hair, the sound of his voice. He looks and sounds presidential to a certain extent. Anytime he shows up, he does help himself. I don't think he earned a lot of votes tonight, but I don't think he lost the massive number of votes that some pundits are predicting. I'm T.J. Walker for The Daily National.